this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. I'm reading from Romans. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reason reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God For I say, through the grace given unto me, that every man that is among you, not excuse me, to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly accordingly as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office or function so we being many are the one body in christ and every one of the members one of another having then the gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us whether prophecy letting us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortion, be that given, we let him do it with simplicity, that he may ruleth with diligence, and he may show with mercy without with cheerfulness. Let love be without dismutation, arbor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly, brotherly love in honor preferring one another not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the Lord rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer distributing to the necessary necessity of the saints and given to hospitality Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink, for in doing so thou shalt 
heaped coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Right here in the Bible, it says, we are not to take revenge. That vengeance is God's. The worst thing you can do to an enemy is leave them alone. Or be more kind to them. If they dislike you and they want to discredit you. And the only thing you do is good. It will just frustrate them. <laughs> Sometimes there's a saying, give them enough rope and they'll hang themselves. So a lot of times with enemies, you don't have to do anything. Because if they're in this mode of hatred and spite, they're only going to hurt themselves more. Because if they've done that to you, they'll do it to somebody else. And then people will see once they start doing it to other people that other people will see, oh, you know, maybe that wasn't Myra. Maybe that was these people because now they're doing and saying the same thing about this other person. And Myra's over here not involved with this anymore. And nobody else is having issues with her. But these people continue to have issues with each other. One day it's like they're talking to this person. The next day they hate him. The next day they're talking to him again. What is going on over here? So sometimes if you just step back, withdraw yourself from a situation, people will see what the other person, their, their pattern and behavior and you don't have to do anything but pray to God and don't seek vengeance. Just sit back and watch. As they say, get out the popcorn. <laughs> but uh, vengeance belongs to God, not to you. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.